Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to this video on the Radio Master TX16S. In this video, we are going to learn how to do this. Welcome to Open TX. No, I didn't mean turn the thing on. I meant change that welcome notice. That welcome to TX. That's just so boring and impersonal and you get so sick of hearing it. This radio is so infinitely powerful. Let's go ahead and change it so that it reflects our personality or something. Hey, did you know that this is like video 10 in my Radio Master TX 16S series? Oh yeah, video 10. We're starting to get into some of the fun stuff because we've already done a lot of the necessary hard stuff. Do me a favor, check out this playlist, man. There are nine videos that came before this that are going to take you all the way from zero to whoa. I mean, whoa, zero to whoa. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there. Um, but right now, let's have a little bit of fun and let's change this. I don't know what you call it. This welcome thing so that it's more personal to our own tastes. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to shut her down. And let's go ahead and pop her into bootloader mode by taking, wait a minute, you know what bootloader mode is? All right, you need to go back and watch some of those other videos. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so for those of you who don't know what bootloader mode is, we're going to take T4, we're going to take T1, we're going to squish them together, and we're going to add power, like so. And it's going to go to bootloader mode, and it's going to freak the camera out. The screen's really, really bright, and it's going to basically have this uh, message here that says write firmware and exit, but that's neither here nor there. Let's flip the sucker up. Wait, you want me to focus it too? All right, I'll focus it too. All right, so we lift the sucker up. Got this little thing up here at the top. And you get this little USB-C thingy right there. And we're going to go boop de boop All right, so when we plug our radio into the USB slot and plug it into our computer, we're going to get two windows. We're going to get this one, which is pretty much nothing we're going to do anything with. And we're going to get this guy right here. He got a whole bunch of folders and stuff, right? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to sounds. And then we're going to go to English, if you speak English, I'm assuming. And then, here's the secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Shh, stop it. Don't tell anybody. We're going to go to system. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to find one that says hello. And there it is. And we play it. Welcome to OpenTX. Sound familiar? Welcome to OpenTX. What if we go and we look at the properties of Mr. Welcome and we look at the details? Are we going to get any information out of this? We're going to get a little information out of this. We're going to get an information that it's, it's a wave sound, okay? And I'm going to give you some more information. So what you want to do is you want to go out to the internet and you want to get whatever audio file you want anything whatever you want it to be okay it could be anything okay let's assume for a moment that you have taken the time to go out to the internet and you have found your f perfect i don't know what to call this thing um your audio welcome file i guess let's just call it that uh, currently it's welcome to open tx all right so you want to change that we're going to call that your audio welcome file all you need to do is drag and drop it into this folder Obviously, it's going to be named something different. You're going to want to rename the hello at like hello old or something like that. And then name your file hello. And then your file will work in place of this one. And when you turn your radio on, it will say whatever your audio welcome file is. Now, having said all that, there's a couple of things that you might want to check. Number one, your file's got to be a .wav file. So if I go here to hello and look at the details, you can see that this is a .wav file. Now, one step further than that, not only does it have to be a .wav file, but it has to have some specific parameters. So if you dragged and dropped your hello file into the system file and you tried it and it didn't work, then that's okay. We're going to fix that. You're just going to need to convert your file into the correct format. And this is how we're going to do that. So this is where you want to go. You want to go to online-audio-converter.com. And if you're anything like me, you're probably a little bit concerned about what you're seeing here because it looks a little rinky-dink and you're suspect and you have every right to be. But let me tell you where I got this from. I got this thing straight from the Chrome Web Store and it's got uh, 
300,000 plus users and a lot of five star ratings. I will also add that I've already used this and I've never had any issues with viruses or malware or pop ups or anything like that. So uh, use it at your own risk, obviously, as my final disclaimer, but it really makes this easy. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to convert a file. I purposely got this doc brown file, which is a WMV file, which is going to require an extra step. And that step is converting. It can't be a WMV file. It's got to be a WAV file for the OpenTX radio to recognize it. In addition, if you find a WAV file and you drop it into the sounds EN system folder and you turn your radio on and you don't hear anything, it's because it doesn't have the right advanced settings. So what I'm going to do is not only are we going to do a, we're not only we're going to convert this into a WAV, but we're going to convert it and we're also going to change the advanced settings so that it works. So let's just move on. DocBrown.WMV, I am going to select Wave. All right, 44.1 is fine, but you can't just hit Convert. We have got to go into the advanced settings. And there's two things you need to do. Number one, you need to make it mono. And then the other thing is that you need to change the sample rate to 16,000 kilohertz. All right. If you left it at 44.1, as far as I know, it ain't going to work. All right. Advanced settings, 16,000 kilohertz and one channel. CD quality, that's fine. And convert. And there's the download. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And I'm going to save the file. All right, now I'm going to go to the folder on my computer where that stuff resides. And here is the Doc Brown online audio. This is the this is the file right here. So what I need to do is I need to rename it. And I'm going to rename it Hello. Plain and simple. Now I'm pulling up the system folder for the TX16S. And here is the folder. I've got my hello. So I got to make sure I'm in sounds EN system. I'm going to grab my hello. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to drag and drop it. I'm going to replace that original hello like so. And now I am going to pull the USB out of my radio. And now I'm going to exit and play my welcome screen thing. What are we calling it? I don't remember. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Throttle warning. Switch warning. And there it is. We have done it. We have changed it. It is good. Now we can turn the radio off. All right. And so you can see it for yourself. Here we go. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Switch warning. You'll have to forgive the flickering. That's the ceiling fan on up above me. All right. So did you have fun? I had fun. That was fun. It was nice to do something a little bit light for a change. Uh, anyhow, you are looking at the Radio Master TX 16S Beginners How To Series playlist on YouTube and checking out. There's nine videos up there already. Uh, this is video number 10 and the fun is going to continue in number 11. What are we can do in 11? Let's have some more fun in 11. 11. Let's do um, let's do custom splash screen and background images. I think that's what we're going to do next. Um, but nonetheless, here is the playlist. Uh, you can find a link to the playlist in the description below. If you feel like you need to brush up on anything, feel free to pick and choose. And if you want to start from scratch, by all means, watch them all. I'm Steve. I hope you're able to benefit from this video. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the video, then uh, hit the little bell so you get notifications of future videos coming out. Because I got like 486 video ideas like off the top of my head right now so i guess i should probably write some of these down but anyhow if you really really like the video then uh, go out on social media and share share the video share the playlist tell the people tell the people steve's making videos anyhow right, i'm just having fun because this is a fun video and i'm looking forward to the next one and i hope to see you there till then see ya